Yo what up guys, Mr. Big Rust here. Back with a short tutorial for you guys. I haven't done one for a very long while. I've now finally figured out my um resolution settings for my screen so it should now be in full screen along with HD. So today I'm gonna be showing you a short tutorial on how to use Adobe CS5 Catalyst. I've only literally just been using it for the last ten minutes, but it's very easy to pick up because or like I say I've already bring the tutorial for you because I'm looking for tutorials on how to do this and literally there wasn't many about and the one I did find was really badly worded. So here is we're gonna be creating Adobe if you don't know what Adobe Catalyst CS5 is, basically it's a web design to um software like Adobe CS5 but you don't need the coding it does it all for you which is pretty cool so here we have a short thing which I literally made in two minutes so it's very basic guys if you click on one it sticks here if you click on two you can see it now slides the image I haven't created a button for the third image but this was just a basic and if you now click back on two it does nothing because this is set to number two and if you click back on one it slides to one so it's very easy and simple to do. So I'm going to be taking you through all the steps on how to do it because the ones I didn't, the one tutorial I did watch didn't take you through every step and it was very um, misleading. So we close that, we're going to start from scratch. So basically, if we create a new image in Photoshop, I'm not really too sure on what... Um, on what file sizes you should be using at the moment guys you know that's something for me to learn but at the moment like I say a short tutorial the main principle of this is to find out how to um, actually design it the reason why I've come up with this is on my website www.2009eclipse.co.uk I'm redesigning my whole website I'm going to be changing it around because like, it's out of date now I never really thought about that when I made it but here was um, my original website it was a template what I used and I edited it all down and I had this little slider here and I really liked the idea but I wanted to have it more wider along the page that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this so basically what you need is to find some images what you like doesn't matter how many images you can have as many buttons and images as you want but obviously it'll take a long while for you to link them up so I'm just going to go uh, Medal of Honor 2010 stick it with gaming uh, if we click on this image here Obviously, um, depending on what file sizes you want, you can it all changes. Just uh, remember to look there. So we just copy this, right click and copy this image, and we'll put it into Photoshop for the moment. We're just gonna scale it down. If you hold down Shift, it keeps the aspect ratio of the picture the same, and Enter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder here down in the bottom uh, right hand corner. We're gonna call this um, Slider, just so that I know what. Um, everything is going on so when it comes into catalyst it keeps all your layers so you know it's well organized by dropping that into there it's now in there so that's part one so we still need an uh, image like so you can have as many images as you want guys but obviously it takes time to for you to um create it let's just go for modern warfare 2 doesn't matter too much copy right click copy that image again you have any problems with this guys um, feel free to drop me a message um, like I say I'm only new to this so I'm getting my head around it still uh, we're gonna create this the same size image as the previous one so you see there that now links up we we'll call that MW2 for Modern Warfare 2 so you see it's been added in there and um, we'll, I'll just get in there image just for the sake of it um, what should we go for? Let's go for Laura Croft, see what comes up for that. Um, let's go make it in a banner so that it's a nice width away. Uh, that, that do. It's not, not too important. Like I say, this is just a basic mess around. Um, rescale that again, holding shift down to remember guys so that it keeps the same aspect ratio. So I'll see now the problems occurred that I don't have enough room to, um, do it. Also, if I, I forgot to mention, Control T allows you to free transform your image, and that's what brings it up, allowing you to rescale it. Obviously, because there's not enough room, what you, all you have to do is just drag it off screen, and you can move it around in a catalyst. We'll call this uh, Laura. So now we have our basic slider for the moment, guys. What we need now is we need to have buttons. Like, um, so what we'll do is we'll create a new folder again at the bottom right-hand corner, and we'll call this button. 
So what we now need is, depending on what you want, you did see in my button I was able to flash it green. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, it doesn't really matter where you place the buttons, it all depends how you want to be uh, making your website. So we'll just create a button here, basic button, and we'll call that number. Ooh. Delete that, sorry. Delete layer. If you double click T, it literally just brings. It may be because I'm clicking over the button. If we uh, click over here instead, there we go. Um, depends what you want, and you can have anything you like, guys. Um, any text you want, whatever you like. Uh, that's not very good. Um, <laughs> anything bold, something that stands out. Like, say, this is only a basic mess around. If we now um, put that there, it's a nice scent lead in our butter. But button, not butter. <laughs> we um, control, or if we right click over here, we have the option of duplicating a layer. So if we duplicate this, you can now click on here on the black image. This We are using CS5 in Photoshop to use this, guys. This all sort of applies through the CSS's in the same way it works. Obviously, we don't want uh, red because it's the same color as our number. We now have blue. I've only I needed two previous colors in my last um, in the actual one I done, but you have up to four colors because you have up, over, down, and um, I'm not sure on the other one. But when we get in catalyst, we'll realize. So it's up to you guys. You can come back and change it. But now we have two folders: one for our slider and one for our button. So it's nice to keep it all nicely organized. So what we'll do is I'll create a new folder in here, just to call it um, YouTube tutorial. We go in there and we call this test. Uh, you want to save it as a PSD, guys. Simple as that. Save. Okay. So we now have our PSD file, which is essential. You can make it in a, a, a Illustrator as well. I don't. I haven't really used this Illustrator, but you know it's up to you guys. So if we now open Catalyst, um, we close Catalyst down. We click yes there. That was my previous one. If we open up Catalyst again. It, you can see what it originally looks like. I'm using trial at the moment, so we'll just continue trial. You now have the options of having your recent projects on the left hand side, or you can create a new project from design file. You'll see there you have the option of Illustrator, Photoshop, and an FXG file. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to create using from an, an Adobe Photoshop PSD file. So, what we do now is we find where we saved our PSD and we open that. It's going to give you the same um, aspect ratio as what you used in your previous uh, Photoshop when you made it in Photoshop. So you want to keep that the same. The colour doesn't matter. Um, keep edible. You want that all the same. Just leave it as what has come up there. So what we're now doing is going to analyse the file and it's going to import it into Catalyst. So now what you can see, if we uh, double click this, that drops that down. You can see you now have a lot of white space. So this is what I'm on about, is I'm unsure on what aspect ratio to be using at the moment, guys. But that's not important. So you can see here, guys, what I said is that this Tomb Raider image is now being um, moved over. So you want to try and align it as best you can. You spend a bit more time on it than I am doing. So I'm doing it very quickly. So there we go. It's not it's not perfect, but that that's not important at the moment anyway. You can always come back and change it. So you now see we have our image and our button. What we want to do now is click on the button folder. You see it now highlights everything inside the button folder. If we right click here, um, not right click. If you see here, it has three items selected. You can click to change to button. So you want to choose the component to be a button, guys. It's now become a button. You see it now has up over, down and disabled. This is the options I was saying to do with the different colours. So if we now double click on the button or you um, double click inside the button or you can click on one of these, it now we're now inside the button and it's given us different options. So you now have your up, your over, your down and your disabled. So what I'm going to do is uh, the only one I did before was my um, over. For some reason that's gone blue we want it black to start off with, it doesn't matter, you can have it blue to start off with and then change it to black, but I'm going to have it black to start off with. Now using this, we can now um, go on over, 